YouTube family, Z4 C Nacho here, and I'm back with another video. Today we are talking breakage in the crown area. So breakage in the crown area is very, very common. Um, and it's one of those things that can sometimes kind of sneak up on you. One day you're fine, and then all of a sudden you're missing a bunch of hair at your crown. So for me, uh, my crown has always been, I don't know, like a little bit more difficult for me to deal with than the rest of my hair. Um, when I first went natural, um, I realized that this area for me is like, a, I guess, more textured. So like it's even more kinkier than the rest of my hair. So it has an even tighter curl pattern. So I just found it really difficult to deal with. And um, so what I've learned over the years, um, dealing with breakage at the crown and fixing it, a couple of things um, that a lot of naturals do that causes breakage at the crown. So um, I'm going to say the number one thing is really um, parting your hair. So it's very common. I feel like almost everything starts like your wash days, styling, etc. A lot of times we part our hair into four sections right and so with that so you have two sections in the front and two in the back um you basically have tension pulling on your crown in all areas so um something to be mindful of uh if you're having breakage in your crown area um you probably want to section your hair a little bit differently try five sections giving the crown its own section and giving that area extra care so if you're dealing with breakage of the crown you want to first identify you know do you have a slightly different hair texture in that area or a different porosity for me like my crown i mean my whole head is um coarse not coarse but uh very highly textured like true 4c hair but um in the beginning it's less of an issue for me now but in the beginning it, it felt like the, the curls at the top of my head were just the tightest. Maybe I've just gotten used to dealing with it, but um, that area always needed a little bit more care. So you wanna section your hair into, um, or think about using five sections or s section it in a way that you um, separate the crown separately so that it can get its own uh, attention. Another thing that we, um, do that causes uh breakage in the crown is the way that we style our hair so i used to wear a lot of puffs and um i found that i was getting breakage in the crown because that top area of the puff the high puff that i would wear it didn't get as much moisture as everywhere else and you know again like exposure to the sun it was it was getting less moisture and it was also getting more exposure to the sun and some sun exposure is good, but too much is not good. Too much of anything is not good. So um, I stopped wearing puffs, even though I love the way <laughs> puffs look. I just realized I was getting a lot of breakage with them, especially in my crown area. So um, that's something to consider. If you wear a lot of puffs, you might want to um, save your puffs for special occasions or not do it quite as often. Um, so now what I do to um, help treat my crown to encourage growth, I section it differently and I also sometimes like when I'm setting my braids, I try to wear cornrows so that um, that area has a braid where the crown area is braided over. Um, also going back to this point, um, your crown, it's has I guess the most exposure to the element because it's completely open and you know the sun wind what have you it's going to be beating down on your crown so um depending on weather conditions I do try to wear silk line hats like if I'm going out for a walk and I know I'm going to be getting a lot of sun I do wear a silk line hat um same thing in the winter if it's going to be freezing cold I do wear silk line hats so um those are good things to have in your repertoire not only for those days when you don't know what you're doing with your hair but also just for general protection um from the elements so um those are my tips i hope that you found this helpful if you did please like share and subscribe thank you so much